Hey Funners, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to do the math test book P5 and we're going to be doing test 2A operations of whole numbers. Last week we did test 1 and I just want to say if this video doesn't come out on time, it's Jojo's fault. Okay, so test 2A operations on for operations of whole numbers. Find find the value of 240 times 60. So since the 240, so 0 times 0. On, I'm just going to do all the materials that you can use to explain and you don't want to explain. If there's a 0 times 0, means that the answer needs to have two zeros. So straight away the answer is 3. It was done in 2 seconds. Anything to say about that? No name. Yes, uh, 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 2 zeros, so the answer has to be 3. No, 0 times 0 is 0 because you're saying it wrongly. Okay, let me, me let me correct myself. 0 times 0 is 2 zeros, so the answer cannot be 1 and 2. It could be 4, but we have to check. Um, dot, dot, dot. Okay, but that's the advanced explanation. What? So for this one, I'm breaking it up into 24 times 6 times 10 times 10. So 24 times 6 is 144 and 10 times 10 is 100. So 144 times 100 equals 14400. Zero, zero. But I put it in an easier way, which is the original equation, so that you guys can, you know, understand better. Yeah, how about explaining the second question? Jojo can't explain anything himself, can he? Why don't Jojo just sit in the doing chair? Ah, no! Switch back! Get my microphone holder! I like you'll do it wrongly, then people will complain. Okay, so basically it's a second question. Let's put this out of picture so it won't distract. Okay. So the first question already explained. Highlight, annotate. We need to annotate, right? Remember what we taught you in the last lesson? Okay, never mind. This one's similar to the second question in the last lesson. You can go check that out. Then and this is times ten. So this is this side's equation and this is the answer. So this divided by this blank equals to 760. Now, division is it's like, for example, 3 divided by, if you are having a blank, so 6 divided by what equals 2, you can just switch the places of the answer and the middle part to be 6 divided by 2 equals to 3, then you find the blank. So, same thing here, this divided by this equals this, which is this answer. Now do you get it? And this is 100. And this is... So do you get it now, Jojo? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next one is about order of operations, which you should have learned in P5. Now, for order of operations, this is how you differentiate it. This is for question 3, order of operations. So, yeah, first, imagine it as a hospital. Okay, so maybe, what's the name of the doctor? How about Dr. Ting? So this Dr. Hang's clinic. And Dr. Hang, if you're really watching this, please comment down below because this is a made up name by us. But if there's such person that exists, we really want to know. So first, this is a mathematical clinic. So first you deal with the bracket. The bracket, let's say the sickness is COVID. Because now in 2022, the sickness, right? So, 
sickness is severe COVID. Is it spelled correctly, children? I think so. <laughs> okay, never mind. So bracket equals severe COVID, right? Then you have the multiplication or and or division. So since this is two, this one is a first come. First serve. So which one appears on the left first? Yes. That means the first in the queue up. From the left. Yes. So, like, if the bracket is at the end, you still do it first. You get it? Yes. Okay, so this one, let's come up with these for it. Maybe a chicken pox. Right? Because chicken pox, a lot of people like to see a doctor for unsevere things. So let's put chicken pox, right? You think that's reasonable? Would people... Would people go to a doctor for chicken pox? Yes. Okay, so next is the add or minus sign. This one is also first come first serve since it's two. So then this one, let's say it's like a flu. Okay, so this is all. So let's say if we have all of them in this equation, maybe it's like a 4 plus 2 times 8 divided by. Okay, let's not add the divide sign. Answer to this equation. So which part do we do first? Do we do the times 2 times 8 first? Because multiplication is first. Dodo. There's a bracket, so we do the bracket first. So we do the bracket first. So this one is equal. Let's do... So that's how you bring it down. So let's do the bracket first. So since we're doing the bracket first, is 8 times 8 plus 12. So you just repeat the remaining parts. And next, we need to do the multiplication. So it's equals to 64 plus 12 minus 70. Right, children? Looks correct. If you bring it down, the next one, plus and minus, right? How do you do it all at once? First come, first serve. Okay, so you do the plus first because it, it's first, right? So let's say 76. Minus 70. Then that's easy because there's only one left, right? So that's 6. So the answer to this super long equation is just a simple answer of 6. Right, Jodo? Mm -hmm. That's an example. Let's get back to the question. Now, the question's answer is 3. And... Now we bring it down. So we're bringing it down from here to here to here. And the overall answer is 199. You got that, Jojo? Yep. Okay, question number four. Question number four. Okay, and three, there four chairs in each row in the hall. That's three rows. So they brought in 20 more chairs and rearranged all the chairs into five rows. Which one of the following represents the correct way to find the number of chairs in each row? So for this, we don't have to work out the answer. We just need to work out the equation to find the answer. And this is also order of operations. So let's let's write down each statement one by one and then turn it into one whole statement. Okay, Jojo? Okay. So there are twenty two one five in each three rows of the whole. So it's times three, right? So it equals to a blank. So then that blank plus twenty equals to another blank. 
fill in the blank divided by five equals to the answer. Sorry if the handwriting is not so good. This just I would like look at paper. Okay. Now this blank, let's turn it into one thing. So it's basically two one five times three equals eight. Okay. So then we need to add twenty divided by five. But this is wrong. Do you know why, Jodo? You need some brackets. Yes, because otherwise you would do this and this first and you wouldn't add the twenty later. So all we have to do is add a bracket here. So times three, let's rewrite the statement. All we have to do is add a bracket here. It's all done because you still do this first before this. You got that, Jabu? Mm. Okay. Which one matches our statement? This, 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 or this, or this? Option four. Option four, yes. So the answer is four. And next question. What's the time? What oh. time? And the product of this and this. Now, obviously, the school, the you, this one, it, look, the use of calculators is not allowed. But in primary five, you, the teachers don't expect you to do more than two, gi two digits times two digits. Right, Jojo? Uh -huh. So what you absolutely don't do, I'll show you on our working paper, what we absolutely don't do is one, two, three, five, times 908 like that you have three rows you have one row here one row here one row here and then your total so technically you have four rows this is what you don't do okay why 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 don't you do that because that's too long the easy way to do this is just 908 times 7 equals what does 908 times 7 equal to jojo um six three five six yes, you can use mental calculation or working but for this we're gonna use mental calculation and the answer is and it was jojo's mental calculation six three five six and what about the three zeros behind the seven yes so you append the zeros you don't add the zeros do you know why because this plus zero is the same number right <laughs> uh -huh. but then when you add the zeros it's the same thing right jojo yeah you append the zeros is append the zeros so then you append the zeros so now nine zero eight times seven thousand equals to six three five six then you append the three zeros one two three so that's your answer Time for question six. So let's divide it by fifty. But one seven five divided by fifty is a hard equation because long okay, for sorry, I forgot to add the three zeros. It's a very long equation because then you need to divide by two digits. Right, Jodo? Yeah, I think that's the start of this test. They put extra zeros everywhere. Yo. So in this lesson, we know how to deal with the extra zeros. Basically, what you do with this is 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 equal is actually equal to one seven five zero zero divided by five equals to one five zero zero. This equal because. This the answer to this equation is the same to this equation, so it does it can just remove the zero, then it's a one digit. So simple, right? Uh simple question. Because it only carries one mark, so it should be an easy question. The question Okay, fine. It carries one mark, but it should carry about two to three marks in the exam. Time for the next question. Bring it down. Remember, bring it down. 
So that's the equal. Hey, you forgot to co- write the answer in the ANS section. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Divided by 8 times 30. Who so next? 5 times 30 equals four. Wait, this test number 2A, right? One fifty. Bring it down, bring it down. Okay, so she makes two. So now it's brown plus white, right? We pack in bags, and how many bags should she use? So it's an easy question. We just add these two, which equals two. What does it equal to, Dodo? Dodo. Dodo. You do mental sums. One, it's yeah, it's a mental sums question. A mental sum. Three eight zero zero. Plus two five two zero three eight zero zero three eight zero zero three eight zero zero divided by twenty equals it. Hey, extra zeros again. Yeah. Where got missing zero? I Maybe mean, we can we can drop some zeros. Yeah, we can drop some zeros. We can drop this zero. So technically we can drop this. Technically technically you cannot cancel with a zero because then okay. method method mark will be deducted. No. So first we need to do this, divide by two hundred, then you need to write the separate equation. Then it's correct. Yep, then then the marker can't penalize you for method marks. Yup, yup, yup. Next question. Ooh, this one has a very long method. I remember question has two different methods. I'll show you the best method and like the other method. So uh, the best method is just two statements, this statement and this statement. So then the second method is basically a bit of algebra. So basically let M be score for math, let E be score for English, let S be score for science, and then S plus E equals 70, blah, blah, blah. And then this equals to math. This is how much math has, this is how much science has, so how much English has. This is the total answer. That's the answer to the question. Eh, blah, blah, blah. This model. This is totally unnecessary. You just need to replace it with two simple equations. Right, Jodo? Yeah, I prefer the two simple equations. Jodo, which, one, which method do you prefer? The best method or the first method? The best method with only two equations. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, please hold the book. We'll need it for the next question. Okay, so for this, we're going to show you the best method. We're not going to show you our method. Because we already showed you. You could have paused it and copied it. But I wouldn't recommend it. Well, this is section C, so we're allowed to use calculator. So let's see, 71 plus 75 plus... 78 equals 2224. And for this, it's even easier because you can use the calculator. Then you divide it by 2 equals 2112. So, his total score for all three subjects is 112. But if you're asking what's the explanation for this, we're going to explain. Don't worry. Okay, so. Let's highlight important bits. For the marks, we'll highlight in pink. 71 marks, 75 marks, 78 marks. Correct? Correct. Then, 71 marks is for his English and math. So we're highlighting the subjects now. Math and science, English and science. What do you notice about the yellow? What, what is, what, what? How many subjects are the yellow highlighting? Three, 
three subjects. Eh, eh. Six subjects. Yes. Six tests. Three subjects, and then six like six, three sets of six like. Not not like different. It's like actually three, but he's repeating it. You know. Okay, so now let's underline. Let's start with English. So we got English here. Do we have any other English? There's an English here. Then there's a science and a science and a math and a math. You see, each subject is repeated twice. So if you add them all together and you divide it by two, then you're getting rid of the excess subjects. That's why we divide it by two and then add it. So if we put a bracket... This would be Engl marks for English, marks for math, marks for science, and then marks for English, and then marks for science, and then marks for math. So it's basically a repeat of every two subjects. But you see that. These two, these two, and these two. Right, Dodo? So the three subjects, but each one is repeated twice. Okay, that's why we divide it by two to get rid of the excess subjects. So now we know the answer. So. The total, well, we can put the total score. So we have two options. We can put the total score is 112 or his total score is 112. But for the long version, we can always put his total score for all three subjects is 112. Or his total score for math, science, and English is 112. Or his total score for his math, English, and science papers is 112. But these two are the best. But we just we just have to repeat the question, right? Here, here we go. First, they asked us find his total score for all three subjects. So the long version will be his total score for all three subjects is 112. Yes, but that's not the longest. You can add the, the three subjects. Oh. When shopping, then $180 and $70. And hit three times of money left at salary. Okay, so let's draw a model for this so this is very clear. Okay? So they started with the same amount of money. So let's draw the same amount of money. Doesn't matter how much, because it's just a random block, right? So the same amount of money that they spent, that they started with. Then Sally, this Sally, and Yun Ting. And I was wondering, let's imagine that this is one, and. Okay, so let's remove this and make it further. Don't mind, please let's not do a quick freehand. Let's make it. Now we spend. So this is how much they spent and how much they started with. So this is how much they started with the end. Right, Jodo? Yep. How much they spent? So this is the dotted line, this is the dotted line, this is the dotted line, and this is the dotted line. Basically, Sally spent 180. This is 180 dollars. And Yun Ting spent 70. So this is 70 dollars. How much money of each of them bring along? So you're trying to find out what this entire thing is. So 
So how on earth do we find it? Jojo, do you have any ideas before I explain? Um, I, I don't know. U T U M B. <laughs> 180 Okay, I, rem I recommend you don't put the units in this, but we're just putting this for explanation. This minus $70 equals to $110, right? So $110 is this amount. This is $110. So $110 is 2 units. So one hundred and ten dollars divided by two equals to one unit, right? Let's we'll put one unit here, one unit, and this is two units. So that we know exactly what we're finding here. Let's use the calculator and find out. So let's clear our previous equation, and one one zero divided by two equals to fifty five. So $55 is one unit. So one unit. How much did each of them bring along then? So this three units plus $70 equals how much they brought along. So $55 times three equal the three units. So let's find out. So we have 55 times three equals 165. So this 165 dollars. Remember to add the dollars if you put your dollars in your number statement. So then now this is 165 dollars plus 70 dollars, which is equal to 305 dollars. So each of them brought along three zero five dollars. So the answer is three zero five dollars. And that's the end of this question. Now next question. I'll give you a while to read the question. I'll be right back. Jojo take over from here. Take over, take over what? That didn't take long, did it? Did it again? I'm back. That didn't take long, did it? Or did I take like one hour to come back? Dodo, did I take one hour to come back? Your To your viewers, it will only be one second. Okay, okay. Okay. See, I don't actually need this. Anyways, let's continue. Okay, so let's draw out a diagram so it's easier. This one we have a long method and a short method. So this is our best method. Ignore the bottom part for now. This is our best method. You do this first statement is always there. Okay, it's always there. Then you split it into two different best methods. You'll understand why later. So then this is the second method. So then it's also split into way one and way two at the end. This is the second method. Camera can't even capture all. Okay, fine. The camera can. So this is the model of all the chairs, dining table. Technically, the dining table should start at the start, but whatever, right? No. Let's do, okay, so you guys can copy this if you want. I don't recommend it, but let's do the best method now with explanation. So I'm going to show you like explanation. So it's half of the second method, but half of the first method. Because the second method is just all diagrams. So technically you can copy it. If you don't quite understand the question, you can just go ahead and copy the second method all the diagrams added in. Here's the book, Jodo. Now, let's highlight the important stuff. 
the dining table and eight similar chairs cost this amount and six chairs cost this amount but then we have a dining table so if we remove the dining table the okay sorry the pink parts are what we can remove from both sides because they're the same now we can also remove the eight and six but in a different way correct Jodo? yes you have to remove not all the eight chairs yes but all the six chairs so basically how we do this is this amount minus this amount you know why we do this because we cancel out this from both sides then we're left with eight and six chairs so then we're minusing that and then we get the amount of two chairs So three 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 zero nine is two nine six zero equals two calculator to check. Oops. Zero minus two. Three seven zero. Now 370 is two chairs. So we can either find the amount of eight chairs or two or six chairs. So I'm gonna do the eight chairs. I don't know why, it's just a random opinion. You can do it the other way around as well. But I'm gonna do the eight chairs for today. So 370 times four. Because eight chairs. 370 is two chairs, not one chair. So it's not times eight, it's times four. So you gotta be careful with this. If you're not sure, you can always do 370 divided by two, but that's that extra step that is not necessary. So anyway, 370 times four equals to 1480. Now this 1480, you just take 3330, but it's different. If you use the six chairs, you take this number instead of this number. So three three zero zero one zero one minus one and four eight zero, which equals to let's check out calculator one four eight zero equals calculator answer one eight five zero. So the cost of the dining table. So now it's the cost of the dining table because we minus off all the eight chairs. So what is left is the dining table. So the dining table. Is it two and one? Dining table cost. Let's check. Let's check. One eight five zero. Copy, five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one. Okay, next question. Listen, final question for this paper. We're going to draw a model for this. So, clearer. so, we have three people. Two, three. One, two, and three. One, two. One is Ben. One is Chris. All these are actually famous YouTubers, you know. Really? Yes. So Alan is like Alan Stokes, I think. And then Ben is... I, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, though. Starts with an A. And Chris is like from Team Edge, I think. Any comments? No, you stay focused when doing your maths practice. But this is a YouTube channel. But we are teaching how to do math, so we should stay focused. And then now our viewers might, our retention could be affected because people might be searching who is Alan, Ben, and Chris, and they might leave our video now without completing their homework. Like afterwards. Okay, so this is our model. Now we have to find out what Chris has. This is this guy. He has three units. So, oh, one, eight, three, plus one, four, seven. 
You don't reply because there's five units. You must always be careful about these questions. And what is the question asking for? Is it one unit or how many units? Three units for this one. Because they're asking for how many marbles did Chris have? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. And now marking time. Please follow this so that they don't get bored, Jojo. Time to mark. Oh guys, we got some questions wrong. Is a is it only a twenty two? Okay, let's see where we got wrong, and then you guys can also do corrections along with us. Okay, for this one, where did we go wrong? Let's see. Question six. Question six answer is three zero five zero zero. So let's double check this with our calculator. Since this is corrections, we can use it, right? How many fifties are there in one? One five. Wait, it's actually three five zero zero. We got some calculation errors here. Wait, then it's one seven five zero zero divided by five. We got some calculation errors here. So this one is actually correct. This part is correct, but this part, the only the answer is wrong. The rest is correct. How can this be, Jojo? So the calculation was wrong. The method was correct. Yeah, the method was correct. So all you have, all you guys have to do is change the answer. If you found a mistake, good job because you actually pay attention and not just copied. So for this one, question ten, question ten. So our first two are correct. Just something wrong with our last two. I don't know what it is. So we can replace this with five five plus one eight two equals. So this is supposed to be. Wait a minute. I think we have some. One six five plus seventy. Where we got wrong, cause. This is correct, but the answer is wrong. So that's where we went wrong here. Okay, next question. We got this correct and the last question correct. So we got 22. We finished our correction. Okay, um, you may fast forward this part, Jojo. So now it says file. So now we may file it in the file. Click, click. Okay, file it. The problem is these two are different sizes, so we need to align the holes and then staple it there. You know what? So we need to align the holes. Holes aligned. Yup. Staple aligned. Yup. Stapled. Yup. Uh, things aligned. Time to really file it now. Where's the file, Jodo? Get file. Then let's file it behind this one we got full marks too bad we didn't get full marks this time pop and oh, filed and done see you guys next time bye